I got so I wasn't sure you were going to pull that one out. Yeah. 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 You're in a bit of a health Oh, practice. yeah, I'm on a strict yeah. diet, but my wife is watching this now, probably dribbling at her lips. She would love this. Mm. It's good, isn't it? It's nice. Mm -hmm. okay. it mm -hmm. No sarcasm mm -hmm. this time. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Not as good as your mum's. Christy. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. I'm on a strict diet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really yeah. actually yeah. standing a wee yeah. from the dessert, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take his bit. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take take it. It. I actually got into uh, making cakes and at Christmas I told all my family and friends I was into cooking and I got eight cookery books for Christmas so hopefully I'm really into Ferraris <laughs> <laughs> they spread right all of today's recipes are available by searching for something for the weekend on the BBC website bbc.co.uk or if you've got an in for me and I give you more than conversation yeah taking shaking heads to deal Actually, really sing. He's got a great voice, hasn't he? He's yeah. cool, isn't he? He's quite cool. He is. Uh, anyway, uh, that was I Could Be uh, So Good For You, sung by Dennis Waterman. Uh, not written by him, interestingly. Right. Anyway, we shall tell you later on uh, what year uh, that came out. Now, is he brunch? Yes, we're ready. What do you want me to do? We're going to make uh, Yorkshire puddings with black pudding mushy peas. So it's kind of, it's a really nice thing. And you, on your diet, you, no, this I is can't. everything you can't have. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay, I'll eat it. Okay, I'll cook yeah, you in. Exactly. Cool. All right, so. Right. First of all, for the Yorkshire puddings, we've got some flour there, you've got an egg in your hand, chain. we've yep. got some uh, water and some milk combined. Then the mushy peas, simple things. It's frozen peas that we've thawed, creme fraiche, mint, and there's some shallots over there. So first Easy. job, make a little well in the centre of the flour, <laughs> and then crack. <laughs> it's and already, uh, problem's already started. And then crack the egg into that. Oh, my wife's at home falling about laughing right now, OK. Oh, OK, that's it. <laughs> there you go, look at that. That's oh, that's a bit of hold on, let me get that out, there we go. Good. And then, a uh, little bit of a whisk of that. <laughs> right, here we so go. So, do you do the kicking at home, Shane? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one... I'm sorry, mate. Right. I'm the only one who can burn Frosties. Lex, as, as, he, as he's wrecking that, yeah. just pour that in a steady stream. Go you're easy, ready. easy. Ready? Yeah. yeah, it's got a hair in it, look. That's all right. It'll, it'll taste like that. No, yeah. it's not. It's a vanilla pod or something. Oh, OK. Equally tasty. Yeah, that's it. Now, now your job is... To so wish that so it's a nice smooth pace. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. look, I'm supposed to be going to football this, this is afternoon. Like looking <laughs> in the danger zone with Shane Mitchell. The thing to remember about Yorkshire puddings is it's plain flour, not self raising. People right. often think because they, they rise oh, up, I would have thought it's that. always plain flour. You watch it's, about, it's about a heat process. <sighs> what do you reckon, Lex? It's not looking that great at the it's moment, but I'm sure it's got potential. Great yeah. tradition, just one I made earlier. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, that's this brilliant. is right, real that's, that's right. fine. Yeah, it's not bad. It's kind of it's a little bit lumpy, but we'll we'll get away with that. Now, mm. the important thing is it's about heat. So yes. this is in here we've got oil that is incredibly hot. Oops. The hottest you can set your oven on. Get the oil to be oh. really hot. Now, as soon as I put that down, Shane, just pour a little bit of the batter into there, and it will fizz straight away. And so you get as many of those as you can get. Yeah. Fizzing, oh, yeah. Professional. Fantastic. And that, so already you start that cooking process. Ideally what you do is you'd actually take that over to the oven, just open the oven door and pour it in so you don't lose any of that heat. You've got enough there? Lovely, it's beautiful. Do you lick the bowl? No, no, so, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's actually quite good. That wasn't bad at all. Thank mate. you. I'm Thank you. So that goes in, 15 to 20 minutes, that's all we need to do. Now, with it, because we always do something that's completely veggie on the show, veggie black pudding that we've used before. So we just cut this You're into... You're a big fan of this, aren't you? Do you know, I just think it's a really good thing. Are you a fan well, of black it, pudding? Yeah, well, well, it's just wonderful because I'm from a big Irish family, so it's predominantly an Irish thing, black pudding. Well, it's a Lancashire thing. Is it? What's it made of? Lancashire thing, black pudding. Is it really? What's it made of? Who's going to claim it? Normally, black pudding is Made. It's, it's blood, then it's oats, barley, uh, onion. But sorry, sorry. the veggie version, okay. they use beetroot juice as, as the blood and whey powder to set it. But you get all the flavors. And it's made by traditional black pudding makers, so tasty. it does have all that flavor. Yes. And it is a really nice flavor. So fry this until it's nice and crispy. I need five little bits of that, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now, with it, we're going to serve some mushy peas. This is a proper kind of, you know, mm -hmm. a Lancashire meets Yorkshire kind of thing. And there's a great tradition in Lancashire where they have black pudding competitions. And what they do is they throw black puddings at Yorkshire puddings. It's that kind of War of the Roses thing. So the Lancashire guys throw them stuff at... We had that in Harmsworth. Really? North West yeah. Lane, but it's bricks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Similar thing. <laughs> 
So what we do is, in here, we've got a little bit of shallot that we've, that we've cooked off with a little bit of oil. Then we add a glug of white wine into there. This is where it gets a little bit pomty. This isn't kind of, you know, Yeah, it is for a proper, little brunch. Yeah, this is a, a little bit kind of grown up. So you could use onion and have no wine in there, but it's quite nice to do it, you know? So then what we do, we put all of the wine and the shallots into there. And then, Shane, do you want to put all of those? We've got creme fraiche, we've got mint, and we've got peas. All of those into there. Well, all of it, all of it. All of it, yeah, yeah absolutely it. everything. Okay. Just chuck it in. Right. So listen, this, this week's episode, you've got uh, Rick Mail on as well. Yeah, Rick Mail and Mira Sayal. It's probably one of my favourite episodes. Yeah, yeah. Coming What's up. What's he like to work with? Yeah. I get the impression you two have a lot of laughs. Yeah. Imagine you add yeah. him in the mix. Oh, and trying to get, get Rick to stick to the script was one thing. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> 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 But no, he's fantastic. So is Mira Sayal, you know. Yeah. And we've got wonderful other actors coming up, like Maureen Lippman, oh. uh, Josie Lawrence, right. Rory Kinnear. Rory Kinnear. Oh. Some great faces over the next few and, weeks. And do you think it's well because of the, the history of yeah. Binder that make people go, yeah, I'll have a bit of that? You know, if you yeah. approach them to do it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, don't forget, also, also, there's a whole, <laughs> there's a whole generation that don't remember the original. Yeah. Yeah. So they're coming to it with fresh eyes. Do you remember the original, actually? You're, you're I don't, to be honest. When I knew I was doing this, I got the I got the box set. Yeah. I started series one. I'm working my way through. Mm. But uh, no, I was watching Knight Rider. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you too. Yeah. 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 Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Okay, so what we've got? So we've got our mushy peas. Right. Yeah. We've got our black pudding that's cooked, and then we have the black pu uh, the Yorkshire puds that are already done. So what happens is, and it's how long did they cook? Fifteen time to time twenty minutes. Look what you've done, Shane. It's amazing. <laughs> How on earth did you do that? And they turned into 12 of them as well. No, there's mine, you're cheating, there's mine there! But the thing is, right, just, what? I mean, just step back a sec, the thing is, they've been in there for like for two seconds, and that whole thing about the heat thing, look. They look like earrings! Within that two minutes, see already they start to rise up. It's about the fact that it's really hot oil, and yeah. the batter then starts to rise, and that's kind of what you're looking we for. That's what's so crucial. Fine. I believe it. Yeah, but it's just that thing, you know, people worry about your no, support. I'm going to make If the some. oil's hot, it works. So, what we do to serve this delicious dish is, we have a spoon of our slightly poncy mushy peas. You could actually just use, you know, ordinary mushy peas out of the tin, which would be great. Then we get one of these Yorkies. Sit that on there. Couple of bits. I hope my mother-in-law's watching this. Because she does a good Sunday roast. This is almost like a, you could do this on a Sunday roast as well, really. Yeah. yeah. You could add a bit of sausage to this, would be great. But I say this yeah. is all completely veggie. And then you've got to have a bit of gravy with this as well. So a touch of onion gravy. That looks lovely, God. Over the top. It? I'm not breaking yeah. my diet for I'll no one. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, all right with me, sir. I'm impressed with your oh, determination. Yeah. There we go. Delicious. Right, that looks fabulous. Fantastic. We're going to be tasting that in just a little minute, but if you want to make any of these issues, search for something for the weekend on the BBC website, bbc.co.uk, or if you've got an internet enabled phone, text weekend take 1010. I'm going to send a link to our mobile site. Those texts cost 10 to 15p, depending on your network. Now, Richard. 